Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech, and in today's video guys I'm going to be bringing you my PC build guide for 2016. Now my build guide that I did back in 2015, uh, that build guide was pretty damn expensive, uh, you know, it was of my own personal PC, which did cost then around £1,500. Quite funny actually, because now my system will cost about, about £1,000, so yeah, in about a year it's dropped. Uh, value of around £500 crazier but um, yeah today is, is going to be a build guide um, for my uh, you know sister um, you know my sister did want a you know a gaming PC built um, well building so you know I did just that and um, the the budget excluding you know monitor keyboard mouse OS is £300 so um, it's kind of entry level uh, you, you know for the GPU we have gone with a GTX 750 Ti and for the CPU an AMD um, FX 4300 Overall, it is a pretty good damn machine, but, you know, for a lot of you out there that, you know, did watch my, um, you know, my personal build guide on my own system, um, that was, you know, out of reach for a lot of people. Well, I think this build guide is, uh, you know, with it being at a miles lower price point, I think a lot of you guys will be able to afford this. And if you are wanting to copy it, um, you know, you know, just copy every single part, then, you know, you can do that. Um, yeah, you can do that. Now, as for the specs, um, just going to go over them. An AMD FX 4300, you know, quad core processor, 3.8 gigahertz, 4 gigahertz turbo. Uh, as for the motherboard, a gigabyte at uh, 78 LMT USB 3. Um, 8 gigabytes of Kingston HyperX Fury at 1600 megahertz. An EBU GA GeForce GTX 750 Ti, as I mentioned. Uh, for the case, a fractal design core 1100. Uh, that's a micro ATX case. Uh, we've gone for a 1TB Seagate Barracuda and uh, for the power supply a Corsair CX500M. And finally, um, you know, since my sister did say that you know she did want Wi-Fi in the machine, we did grab a TP-Link mini wireless N USB adapter. There we are. Anyway, let's kind of get on to the build. Hopefully this build guide is uh, not not that long, but you know you will know definitely how to build this machine if you do get all the parts. So yeah, without further ado, let's kind of get into the build and um, yeah, let me get to show you how to build a gaming PC for 2016. So to get started, first up, you're going to be taking the move board out of the box and also taking it out of the anti-static bag. Now our pair like to install the CPU, cooler and RAM first, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So first up, take the CPU out of the plastic packaging and you want to be raising the arm on the socket itself. Now once you've done this, you want to be looking at a gold triangle on the CPU and then land on this with a triangle on the socket itself. Plop your CPU in, no force is required, and then lower the arm and there you are, you've just installed the CPU. And next up we're going to be installing the one 8 gig stick of RAM. Now on the motherboard you'll see some small text that will tell you which port is which. And in this case the first port is on the right hand side. So yeah, you want, be, you want to be aligning it with the actual socket itself and pressing it in. Just making sure that both the tabs, one on the left, one on the right, you know, do clip into place. And next up we're going to be installing the cooler. In this case we have gone with the AMD stock cooler. But regardless, this one is, um, it, it, it is... It is okay, it does do a you know, good job, and it is easy to install, you just want to clip the two metal things onto the plastic on the board and just you know, lower a lever, and there you are. You should be able to actually lift your motherboard up as well by just holding onto the heatsink. Once you've done this, you do want to also make sure that you have also just plugged in the fan there with that 4-pin connector. There we are. So there we are, we've installed the CPU, RAM, and also the CPU cooler. Next up, let's get these components into a case. Moving swiftly ahead, next up we're going to be putting the motherboard and all the components we've installed already into the case. But first up, you do need to take off the side panel, and also, yeah, you, you want to put in the motherboard into the case just to see which holes um, do align up with this motherboard. All boards are different, so, you know, they all, you know, do have different alignments, but, yeah, you want to be just looking at which holes, you know, do line up, and you want to be screwing in these standoffs. These typically are gold. Now once you've done this, you want to be installing the I.O. plate. This does come with your motherboard inside the motherboard box. Yeah, you just want to be pressing that towards the case, making sure it locks into place. There we are. Can be a little bit tricky, that one. And then once you've done that, you want to be placing the motherboard back in and screwing in the screws into the standoffs. And this will, you know, install the motherboard nice and securely into the case. There we are. Now once you've done this, next up you want to be installing the power supply. So in this case, uh, the power supply does mount in the top. So you just want to, you know, push it into the top and then use the four screws that came with it. Um, yeah, just to you know, secure this to the back of the case. 
Now as I did decide to go with a semi-modular power supply and not a fully modular power supply, there are two power connectors already connected, so I might as well get these out of the way. Now first up, we're going to be installing the 24-pin power connector for the motherboard, that's on the right-hand side of the board. And then also, yeah, we are going to be plugging in an 8-pin power connector for the CPU. There we are, so that plugs in in the top left. These are typically at, at the top left as well, and yeah, yeah the 24-pin is always kind of at the right-hand side. Now once we've done this, we're going to be installing the hard drive. Now because this case isn't very expensive, it doesn't have sleds like many cases do. So yeah, you, you know, you have got to screw in the hard drive to this piece of metal and then yeah, once you screwed it in, you, you know, you can put it back into the case. Now first up though, we are going to be installing some of the front panel connectors and also a fan. So as for the fan, you know, we do have a three pin connector. So you want to look in the manual for your motherboard and you know, see where all these are. And yeah, I'm just routing some of these cables behind the motherboard. It's perfectly fine to do so. And once I've done this, um, yeah, I did install uh, the reset switch into the bottom there, also the power switch, and also the hard drive activity light. There we are. And once I've done this, I did also install the USB 3.0 headers. Um, well, I say headers, there's only one. Um, yeah, installed a USB 3.0 header and HD audio onto the left of the board, and then also right next to the USB 3, there's a USB 2 header there. There's two built into the board, however, you know, the case does only have one USB port, so yeah, you only need one of them to be installed there. In order to connect the hard drive, we do need a SATA power cable, so you want to grab them from your box that came with your power supply, so it you know, just looks something like this. And yeah, we're going to be plugging that into the power supply, and then at the other end is going to be going into the hard drive. We do also need a SATA cable from the motherboard box, so yeah, yeah do grab one of them. In this case, they are blue, they aren't, you know, the, the best looking connector in the world, with them being blue, but oh well, um, you know, they are free and they do come with the motherboard. So you want to screw that in place, and there you are, hard drive installed. So one of the final steps is going to be installing the graphic card, so we do need a PCI Express power connector. So you want to grab one of these, plug it into the back of the power supply, and there we are. Um, we do have power now for the graphic card. Now in order for the GPU to actually fit in the case, you do need to remove two of the PCI Express expansion slots. Uh, yeah, just remove two of the screws, and then remove the covers, but do keep hold of the screws. Now to install the graphic card, you want to push the tab on the PCI Express x 16 slot, and then yeah, you can just push your GPU into place. Relatively easy to install. Once you've done this, uh, use the two screws uh, to you know secure the GPU into the case, and yeah, once that, uh, yeah, once you've done that, you want to plug in the PCI Express power connector. So that's the PC built. All you want to do now is put the side panel back on and uh, yeah, connect your PC to a monitor and also the wall, uh, you know, for power. And um, yeah, we'll turn on, hopefully. There we are. Anyhow, let's kind of roll the outro and um, yeah, let me guys tell you what's going to be in part two of this build guide. So guys, there we are, that was part one of this build guide. In part two, we're going to be having a look at, uh, you, know, you know, turning the machine on. We're going to be installing the operating system. And then I'm also going to show you how to install some drivers to get the system up and running properly. And then, yeah, we're going to go over some benchmarks. So there's, there's still quite a bit to cover in part two. And, you know, if you are building the system and, you know, do want to know how it performs, uh, you know, before building it, shall I say, um, yeah. Definitely check out part two as you know you get to know how it'll perform. To be honest, this PC is it's not half bad to be honest. Quad core processor, 750Ti. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Can play most games 1080p, so yeah, for, for a lot of you guys out there, it's uh, reasonably powerful, um, you know, even for 1080p gaming. So without a doubt, pretty good machine. And yeah, as I said, if you guys want to check out the benchmarks, you can. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. All parts for this build are in the description. You'll find Amazon UK and Amazon USA links. So, you know, if you want to check them out, you can do. And um, yeah, without further ado, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.